Hi everyone. In this video, I would like to talk about the importance of PowerShell commands and how we can run the PowerShell commands in Citrix infrastructure while troubleshooting the problem or if you want to access some information in the Citrix environment. So learning PowerShell is really important as a Citrix administrator to troubleshoot any issues or if you want to gather more information about the infrastructure or if you want to automate things. It is really, really helpful. So in order to access PowerShell, what you have to do is you have to open Citrix Studio. Once you open Citrix Studio, you see these three tabs on the top, Common Tasks, Actions and PowerShell. Click on PowerShell option and click Launch PowerShell. So once you click Launch PowerShell, give a few seconds. So once you give a few seconds, you would see this coming up on the screen. So the very first thing you have to do is you need to activate Citrix modules. So in order to run Citrix commands on PowerShell, you need to type this command first to execute it, to activate it. Okay. So in order to activate a Citrix SDK, all you have to do is type ASNP space citrix and a star and hit enter okay if you see any if you see any error message just ignore it and run the command once again and hit enter okay so once you have activated citrix sdk module what you have to do is you can start troubleshooting so let's for an, let's say for an example if you want to Check the status of the broker service on in, in your Citrix infrastructure. What you can do is just type get hyphen type broker B R O K E R broker and hit tab. Once you hit tab, you see different uh, options coming up. So just keep doing it. Okay. You see different options. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to run. I'm going to test Citrix broker service. OK, so this is the command to test broker service on the controller. So what you have to do is get space broker service status and hit enter. So once you hit enter, you, you will get the output which says, OK, it means good. So let's say, for example, if you want to test the configuration service, what you can do is just type get once again, give hyphen. OK, and type config C O N F I G config service SCRVASC service hit tab and wait until you get status okay so it is get hyphen config service status hit enter you see okay if it says okay it means that the config the configuration service is working fine so if you want to test other services like let's say just for an example if you want to test uh, machine creation service okay what you can do is get hyphen you can type p r o v probe s e r v i c e hit tab okay get hyphen p r o v service status this is nothing but machine creation service so hit enter the status says okay so the machine creation service is also up and running fine. So in the same way, if you want to test uh, host service, just for an example, what you can do is get space, sorry, get space, HYP, SCRB, okay. Now you see get hyphen, hype, SCRB, service status, hit enter. 
and the output is okay so it means that your citrix host service is also running fine in the same way if you want to test other services like let's say get hyphen uh once again i'll maximize this okay get hyphen let's say you want to test storefront service okay hit enter so the storefront service is also working fine because it says the output is okay all right so if you want to test get if you want to test another service type get hyphen type let's say you want to test logs log service type log service hit tab okay now you now you see get hyphen log service status just hit enter this service is also fine so basically we have done we have checked all important citrix infrastructure services in in a couple of minutes so you have tested citrix broker service which is like the heart of citrix infrastructure you have tested citrix configuration service you have tested citrix provision service uh, prob, prob service status which is uh, um, machine creation service you have tested get hyphen hype hyp service status which is uh, the host service storefront service log service status so basically using powershell you can uh, easily find out whether the services are running fine or not so you have an alternative option like you can check it from the services console as well but PowerShell information is like the more accurate and more apt information which you can find and uh, yeah and decide so so yeah this is all i want to discuss about in this video if you have any questions please leave a comment thank you